welcome back, let's have a quick recap. Ross spent an hour trying to open some chilli sauce, burnt all nine of her fish fingers, and put some yoghurt in four coloured bowls. So it's currently 21 for Andy and 13 for Roz. See what Mel can do. Um, I'd go as far as do something to sabotage everybody else's dish. Like turn the oven up when they're cooking their meals, it burns, set the fire alarm off, anything. Wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Mel. Now what's she cooking? Well, it's a simple but effective dish. Everyone likes it. It's inspired from uh, Italy. The second dish is just a little bit of a favourite of my own that I thought everyone would enjoy. Because I'm very busy, you see, so I uh, can't really spend time in the day making it before. And all we've got to do, pretty easy, simple but effective. That's twice you've said that now, Mel. You can just go in the oven like that. And then you just leave it in there for 20 minutes. That would be perfect. Simple but effective dish. Three times. I used dough to make the pizza base. No, you didn't. Rolled it out. You didn't. Put a bit of tomato puree on there, a bit of cheese. What do you use to make your base? Uh, flour. Flour. Flour, really, yeah. Where'd you get that from? It came from the farm. <laughs> Down the road. Yeah, they, it's all organic stuff that I've used on my pizza. Nothing supermarket bought at all. Mm, my sources tell me otherwise. Did you get the chicken from the farm too? Yeah, I did. Its name was Bess. <laughs> right, we'll see who believes that. Now on to dessert. And I'm just going to place them on this plate. And they're, they're just, they've chilled out a bit, you know, while they've not been in the oven for all of about 30 seconds. So uh, to make them that extra tasty, I'm just going to stick them in the microwave to warm, warm them up a bit. So. Brilliant singing there, Mel. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just wait. And there's not a Tesco bakery's box at all. Whoa, cheating again? Let's play that back. There's the offending article. So that was my brownies. I uh, mixed uh, cocoa powder and flour and sugar and a bit more cocoa powder and chocolate chips. And then it's going to make some beautiful brownies that I hope they'll enjoy. But hopefully they'll be uh, tasty when they're finally microwaved. <laughs> so... <laughs> About time. So now my brownies are nicely warmed up and are ready to serve to the guests. You can smell they the texture from here. They might be a bit warm, they've here. just come out the oven. Hmm. I can smell the texture. It's going to be like oh. moist and... Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, they are just, just freshly baked. I think they're in need of a triple blow. <laughs> and it definitely doesn't agree with Joe. That sounds very nice. Mm. They're still cooking inside, so... Mm. They're like melted. Has, it's, has, it's my melt in the middle brownies. Melted. It's the effect that they have. That's yeah. funny because microwaves do that as well. Caught yeah. red-handed Mel. No. On the inside. Well, these are just freshly baked, like literally just out the oven. Mm. So, which is why they're doing this. Microwave oven, no. No. Uh, proper it's oven. It's very Ooh, another look of disgust as we move to the scores. I'm going to give Mel's night a six. Um, the piece was great. Um, I don't think she put enough effort into it and it was quite small portions I would have liked a bit more um, but the brownies did put it right back the brownies were great and they were so warm um, and nice so I gave us six uh, and Miles we had pizza I wasn't sure whether it was uh, whether it was cooked fresh or whether it was just out of a box but I was assured um, quite convincingly that the pizza base was made and it was a it was a good description of the use of flour for the pizza base um, at Mel's dessert I can't remember. Now that's a problem because it doesn't, doesn't stick in my head, the dessert, so that's a bad thing. But I did give Mel a seven for that one. The pizza pulled it back. It was pizza, I believe, for the main course. It was, it was tasty. She didn't understand where she got her tomatoes from, which was concerning for me because I'm a tomato fan. It certainly wasn't a farm. She didn't know the difference between chopped tomatoes and tomato puree. I'm sorry, but Melissa's gonna get the two. We all know it's upside down too. Let's check the scores and that's respectable 15th of Mel. We're back soon. Yeah.